Hi, I'm Asim from American Runabouts. As you can see, it's American Runabouts, boats and cars. So, um, yeah, we decided to um, give you a little bit of car this time. And um, yeah, first things first, I got a couple of questions where people ask like, you introduce several projects, but then we don't see them continue. You will see them continue. The thing is that we obviously do the video when we start something, but then a lot of times the customer doesn't have money. There is a part that I can't get access to. Um, the customer can't make a decision. It's green or red or blue or whatever. Um, then there's other priorities. I mean, our main business is both windscreens, as you know. Um, so if there's a lot of windscreens to be done, well, our projects um, have to wait. So. The new workshop, as you see, um, or as, you as I showed you, has three different rooms. So obviously we can work parallel on various projects. On the far right side, we have the Helvig that you can see on the channel as well. And on the right side now, we have this baby. That's a 1987 Chevrolet Corvette. And um, it has Dutch papers. And the person who had it in the Netherlands prepared it for drag racing and not for being street legal. In Germany now it should be street legal and uh, should get a historic number plate. It's older than 30 years. So there's a few things to be done. Uh, as you can see, we raced it a little bit um, to get better access to um, the exhaust. So it needs new exhaust mufflers. They were pretty much done. Um, it was originally dark red, as I figured out. The paint shop is, well, there's color on it. Nothing I would have done, but on the other hand, um, stripping this back down to original red is a pain in the body. Nobody would, nobody would pay for that. It needs a new acrylic roof. That's why it came very handy, because we will use also this car to make our how-to video and demonstrate how to get this roof off um, take it apart, get the new lens in it, readjust it on the, on the car so it doesn't crack again because a lot of these windows simply crack because people do not adjust them in a proper way. So I've been driving uh, C4 Corvettes since 89, so I have a lot of experiences with these cars and I love them. And the other, uh, that's actually um, the floor mats that we make, that's our own production line, so I already prepared a set for this car. And when these guys painted the car, they obviously took it completely apart, which was a good thing, but they did a lousy job in getting it back together. And I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see that, probably if I give you a little bit of video light. Um, there is a few things that are pretty terrible. There is a very modern type stereo in there, which um, is a complete no-go. The, the digital cluster doesn't really work. And they l basically left out most switches on the, on the door. On the other side, there's like for the, um, for the power locks, all these buttons, all these switches, all of this is missing. And um, what you see here in the back is basically all the parts that need to go in. So we have a new uh, power window uh, on the right side that doesn't work. Here's already a new digital um, dashboard cluster. This is an original radio. Tons of small parts. Um, all these little switches that are missing. So I spent quite a while to, to fix all of this and get all these parts together. And so we will start reassembling this baby. She also gets new tires. Those are completely done from uh, all the racing. Actually, if you, if you Google C4 uh, Corvette Yellow, you find a couple of videos from a guy in the Netherlands where you can actually see this car on the road. They were racing around in it and actually abusing it pretty badly, in my opinion. And um, yeah, so we'll... Uh, keep you updated on all the small projects that come along, especially when you take uh, the dashboard and everything apart. Maybe there's a few useful hints if there is a Corvette owner in our viewers, amongst our viewers. And um, yeah, hope you like this. 
Um, if so, give us thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't to, and um, also click this little notification bell so you get a mail when we upload new content. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.